Welcome to Cinebuzz. So today we'll be talking about uh, Titanic. So, along with <laughs> the Titanic, we figured let's do a pairing of uh, um, some bourgeois drinks. <laughs> Ooh, you know you're... Oh, yeah. You know, wow, nice work. You know you're in for a surprise. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. What I did is I made a little bit of a cocktail, right? Um, and this is a, uh, is it a French 52 or 57. Anyway, it's gin. It has uh, simple syrup for sweetness. It has a little bit of uh, grenadine for color. And then lemon juice. Get a little tart, right? And you'll see that it's got a little bit of color. Oh, you just nice. need a little bit. So it's a little bit concentrated. I love this concept right. too, is mixing your mixer first and then pouring in your main liquor. Well, then you can it works. just walk around like this. Right, right. Yeah. Or you can just mix it in your mouth. No, right. I mean, it's very practical, but it's actually super practical. Yeah, and then, you know, you top it off with a little of, uh, of the champagne, bubbly. the bubbly. Yeah. And then it's for a wolf right, man right. here. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. It's really nice, huh? To be able to pull off a love story on the ship, it, that is kind of difficult because you have to kind of forget that everyone's kind of doomed. And it's setting the tone for the yeah. whole film, which is romantic. Rose, just from the moment she shows up, is so unpleasant. Shows up, oh, oh God, what a beast of a ship, you know? She just doesn't care. And then you have Billy Zane come out, and he's just like, just full of life, and he's right. just like, oh, I, how can you be melancholy about right, this? Snooty, though. He was snooty, that's he's for sure. But she she was like that, and then she had the line at the when she was getting on board, and it's actually kind of a, mm, okay. It kind of sets up the character, which she's saying, I, for everyone else, this was like a, a great ship and going to great adventures or something. For right. me, it was a slave ship. It was a slave Said ship. By, obviously, someone who's never who's been never on been, one, yeah. or even thought about right. it, really. <laughs> who, uh, who never saw Amistad. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's a little insensitive. Then we got Jack, right? Jack is just like, oh, he's just a free spirit, man. Right. So I think... And that may have been because uh, Cameron felt that uh, the main story is a Titanic. That's what the mm -hmm. story is. Except the problem yeah. was that in his script, the main focus was the Romeo and Juliet story. Right. He wins a ticket to get on the ship. Right? Yep. Oh, you want a ticket. So I, and, and we're thinking, oh, that's not winning. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. So he ends up on the ship. Now, they have Rose. She continues to be just really unpleasant. Doesn't like anything about what's going on for some reason. So Billy Zane decides to give her the heart of the ocean. She is a spoiled brat. Right. And she has no life experiences, evidently. Okay, so she's on the ship. She's completely unpleasant. Now, Billy Zane... I'm Team Zane. I love Billy Zane. Billy Zane is freaking awesome, right? Put a cork in it, Zane. He's way out of Rose's league. Like, way out of Rose's league, okay? Right. Or, so, I don't know either, why. Either way, they're just not compatible. Compa they're not compatible. Right. And then we, uh, we also were wondering, like, well, why, why is he so enthralled with her? I have no idea. And we Refresher. Mm-hmm. It's a really good way to nurse a bottle of champagne, you know. Yeah. And you could do this with Prosecco. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's sparkling wine. And he's given her, you know, the heart of the ocean. He's like, Rose, I wish you'd just let me in. You know, so he wants to be a part of her life. He's making the effort. He's very charming. He's nice. He gives her whatever she wants. Even lets her old hag of a mom along, you know, who's going to, who says, oh, I'm going to end up like <laughs> a seamstress, you know, if you don't marry this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I can understand Billy Zane's point, you know, like when he topples the table and he's just like the 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 abuser of furniture at this point, you know, and and um, right. I think bottom line is what we're saying here is that uh, they're not meant for each other. They're not meant for each other, right. you know. And I never really see him as a, as a true villain for most of the film. I feel like he's just sort of he's a rich guy, right? And until uh, he starts shooting people or trying, right, to. but that's at the you know towards the end, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, they kind of deserve it. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> right. And I felt, and I want I want to say that there are a lot of characters in this movie that actually I, I found more interesting than the actual main characters. <clears throat> a lot of them were just like the crew that were taking trying to take care of the boats and That's everything. True. There was the a lot of big, they were powerful dealing performances with. in there. I, I yeah. really was, uh, you know, intrigued and in, um, interested in those things. And then, of course, I think the top of that heap would have been, you know, the unsinkable Molly Brown. 
Right. Played by. Uh, yes. Not Judy, not, Judy Dench, <laughs> not Judy Dench. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. No. For some reason, Jack goes to the, the church where they're all like praising God and this kind of stuff, even though uh, God's going to sink the ship. So Jack's there and he's like, he almost kind of like uh, the graduate. Right? Yeah, really. He's at yeah, the yeah. he's at the window and he's kinda like Rose, you know, he wants to speak with Rose before she's uh, Yeah. It leads us into the next scene where I think this really sort of derails Jack and his character a bit, right? I think it just unhinges him. Where he goes onto the deck and he steals a bowler hat and a coat, you know, pretends like he's high class. They walk Rose is on a tour, she walks by him, and then when she walks by he grabs her and pulls her in, right? So that he can talk to her because he's so desperate to talk to her and she won't take his calls. And she's deleted, <laughs> she's deleted him from Facebook, and she's blocked his instant yeah, messaging, yeah. the whole nine yards. But he needs to talk to her. And then he goes on to like this whole manipulation thing where she's unhappy, she's miserable, she should be with him. And, and for what? I mean, they've been together for like 24 hours. Not even together, they only had a few hours together. And now he's like telling her how to lead her life. So it's like, wait a minute, isn't that exactly what she didn't want from Billy Zane? I, mean, I don't think you can villainize Billy Zane and then let uh, Jack off the hook. I think the the table is the real victim here when he flips that table. Because the table didn't do anything but provide <laughs> nourishment to both of them. Oh, oh, interesting. It's it's there to nourish your body. And he just flips it over. And it's like, what did that table do? So you're saying that's, innocent it, bystander. So you're saying that's a symbolic thing. It's collateral damage and it's sad. Because that was probably a high class piece of furniture. Okay. So alcohol is kicking in now. The furniture. This is what this but, is all about. No, this is a continued theme. <laughs> it's a continued theme. Through the whole movie, because the furniture drowns, they have all this beautiful furniture. Right, and the plates break. Plates are breaking off the wall. It's like, what yeah. did all this what furniture? Didn't you watch anything? Beauty and the Beast? No. What? <laughs> like, right. And when you think about it, what does that have to do with anything? It's I'm, a snuff film. Furniture snuff film is what it really is. I think <laughs> when it comes down to it, the Titanic is a furniture snuff film right. at its core. And I guess the biggest furniture is the Titanic itself, right? Really, going down, <laughs> sure. breaks. We find it. See, that's what happens. You make these breakthroughs, and it wouldn't happen without the cocktails. Right. Without the right... So I guess we're done here, because we figured it out. <laughs> I, I was looking at the Titanic... Oh, but we have to get to the brandy. Completely wrong. And the cigars. Well, we'll, we'll go back in time. Oh, okay, okay. So, I had it completely wrong. Really, it's all about the furniture. <laughs> and how the furniture is abused, right. the furniture is used, the different classes of furniture, and then furniture toppling over because of the iceberg, and you get those, you get all that furniture, all the dishes lost. All right, so now you have Rose and Jack, and they're off doing everything that they want to do, and all that kind of stuff. Caution to the wind. I'm going to live under a bridge, poverty stricken, in malaria driven, herpes ridden, syphilis tower, while you draw charcoal drawings of uh, one-legged prostitutes she was a one-legged prostitute the whole reason the titanic which was a slave ship to furniture sank was because jack and rose it was their fault not the iceberg's fault iceberg was uh what you it was because they distracted the watchman they distracted the watchman just long enough to ruin everything so you got these guys in the tower, right? And they're, their whole job is to look for icebergs. And they know there's icebergs out there. Oh, my right. God. But didn't have icebergs binoculars. They didn't have binoculars. And then they even cut to another guy going like, oh, the binoculars Where are, are the binoculars? I think they're locked up somewhere. And I think back then, that was like a phone. Where's your phone? I, I don't know where it is. That's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> so I don't know if that's historically accurate or not. Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't even know how they would know that. When those guys were going down the ship, and they're very low-paid guys, like they get like a you know two cents an hour. They're not like penning a journal under waterproof water, going, "I did not have the proper equipment to do my job as stated by the Starline Industries Shipping Company." You know, right. they didn't lodge a complaint with like HR or anything like that. So I think that might have just been made up because it was something that we're all thinking. Anyway, they're up in the crow's nest. Their job is to look for icebergs. In That's a timely it. manner. That's, That's all it. I got to do is so that they can go steer the ship a little bit to the left so we don't you have crash. One job. It's the only job. <laughs> There's nothing else going on up there. They don't have distractions. Right. They don't have, uh, you know, porn hub. Right. They don't have <laughs> all these until, things to distract them. Until Rose and Jack came up. So then they see Rose them. and Jack are frolicking down below and they both kind of, ooh, Rose and Jack are frolicking. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll see a little something, something. And then, you know, they're watching and they're watching and they're watching and then Rose and Jack take off. Then when they look up, Oh, what's that? It's an iceberg! So it's Rose and Jack's fault. Because if they hadn't been down there having an inappropriate relationship aboard the furniture murder 
Starliner ship. ship. Death ship. Death ship. Uh, it would not have gone down. They would have had plenty of time to steer out of the way. If we're gonna like, let's put a microscope on this. Even even that. Let's. Like here, if, <laughs> if you got a the guys in the crow's nest. Right. Do they really give a shit about two people frolicking on the deck? That's that's a romantic thing. They would have been looking like, a, yeah, I would like to be there. Fuck you. Maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, they're bored. They're kind of bored. Oh well, yeah, that's true. But so they seem to be so happy about it. They were. They were well, jolly. It's like, maybe it's because oh, Rose, so Rose was attractive. They would have been well, like, whatever. Well, maybe they thought Jack was attractive. It's okay, whatever the way they want to go. Yeah. But I'm having a feeling they just were th- hoping something else was going to happen. You know what? Another point is, why was Jack and Rose the only people ever on the boat? They were the only ones ever on the deck. Well, well I mean, they didn't right. show. They didn't show a lot of people, right? about it but the other is if they ever make another titanic movie think about these things titanic 2 no no <laughs> titanic 2 the resurrection <laughs> the resurrection they left it totally is, open at the good. end that's brilliant they sir. left it totally up, open at the end two. you know they were all they were all alive at the end it was a big rouge right. i love that you know okay <laughs> we digress so i think we've reached we're now finally reaching our Cinebuzzed, uh, you know, the whole point. goals here. Cheers. Cheers. That's good. Cheers. This is, I think this is the drunkest we've gotten so far, and I think congratulations. You are in order. I mean, drunk as you've gotten so far. Okay. Okay. Right. I mean, yeah, exactly. And where's the captain during all this? He's gone until, right. like, he's like, like, halfway sunk. He's like, but... what's going on up here? <laughs> where's my tea? And there's already, like, water coming. I mean, it was already half sunk, and he's like, what's going on? And he walks up on the bridge. He's like, where's this guy been? Didn't he right. feel it? No. But the captain was in Game of Thrones. Which is cool. And I think he looks younger in Titanic. I think he's cooler in... No, older in, in Titanic. I think he's cooler in Game of Thrones. He is cooler in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. And so. he looks younger somehow. Kudos to Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So this is another place where I have a huge problem with with Rose in particular. Okay, so everyone's co- so concerned about Rose, right? She just she's the emotional vampire of the whole freaking movie, right? Well, like, she is the focus of the movie. You're just like uh, because she's got that whole like she's actually young and old. Uh, Everybody else yeah, is one of the other. Yeah. So <laughs> she gets she actually gets a. Onto the lifeboat. They're like, and both Jack and Billy Zane are like, Rose, we want you to get on a lifeboat so you can live a fruitful life. And she's like, that's great. I love the way you say that. <laughs> it's so droll. It's like, we're gonna do this, so let's do this. It's so, sophisticated. No, no we're not. Bro, I think it's you got a drink. It's very French. Rose, you need to get on the boat. It's very French. Cheers. And get into the lifeboat and go live and have children in my name. So she gets on the boat. And she's like, okay, now I'm going to live. And the both guys are like, yeah, we need you off the boat because we need to concentrate on ourselves. And we can't because you're such an emotional vampire that yeah, we, we gotta, can't we gotta think do about our own, ourselves. we got to do our own fight here. And would you just get out of the way? Yeah, get out of the way so we can figure this out <laughs> so that we don't all have to die. Because the whole, the whole issue right now is you, Rose. Just get out of the freaking way. Right. Just go be saved and we'll take care of it. Yeah, she's just like the monkey wrench in everything. So she gets off. She that would have been the best part of the film if she just went away, and then we could have right, dealt and then with. They could fight. They could have. Yeah, they could have fenced. They could have dueled and It'd be a done whatever. Movie, a pirate movie. Yeah, he would have dueled. Might, right might as well. We have people shooting guns in the middle. Of the uh, yeah. Second. So and then Billy Zane trips and he's like, whoa. And then, then Jack's like, save that pose, and he does a quick sketch of Zane. <laughs> like, you know. And then they they look at he looks at the sketch and he's like, this is a good likeness of me. And then Jack's right, and like, thing you know, Jack's looking at. Um, Zane, Zane going, going hey. well, I only I only draw what inspires me. And then Zane's like, I inspire you. And then Jack's like, you do inspire me. And he's like, forget that bitch, Rose. And they end up nice work together. You've done it. This is Cinnabon. And that's the end of the Titanic. <laughs> They're ripping benches yeah. to, to plow Find a flotation gates. device. They're doing all this stuff. They're yeah. doing everything. Uh, take a moment to say, okay, yeah. uh, you guys do what you want. I'm just going to make my own fucking flotation device. And I think a better, you know, one... This is just a lesson to be learned, so, you know. Oh, wait, so... Make a note of it. We have skipped a little further ahead. Okay, so... We're all over the place. Rose, we're all over the place. (laughs) Wouldn't you have died in... We've reached now a drunken profound. It's like saying... It's a breakthrough, my friend. You you are on a ship that's sinking. Right. And you have uh, an hour, an hour and a half to... To before you're gonna die or be on a, sh- right. a little like lifeboat, but you have that much time 
aside from everybody else, because everybody's like being like rats on a ship, right? yeah, freaking trying out. to get off. Yeah. You have that much time to Even figure out what rats. life raft you're going to make just for yourself. You've got everything. you got all anymore. the tools everything, at your disposal. Everything on the ship that you like, can figure out be how to make a lifeboat. Be resourceful. Something. Yeah, anything. Yeah. So because I, at the end of the movie, it's a piano or whatever the fuck it is. Well, another thing is, too, is like if I knew I was going to go down with the ship, I would have been raiding the liquor closet. And... <laughs> <laughs> that just makes more sense, right? But like, you could do both, right? You could do both. You could make your little life raft and you could drink. Or at least take enough booze so when you're on the life raft, you can drink. They did have... <laughs> they did have those guys. Man, you're mac- epic. 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 <laughs> a pack. They, they did have those other top hat guys. Remember? And they're like, here's your life vest. And he's like... No. Wait, wait, and the he's line like, was, we're addressed in our best and we're ready to go down and the ship. And he didn't... Yeah. And he had no he idea knew. what he was talking about, really. And he's like, I could use, I could use <laughs> oh, a brandy. He a drink. He wanted right. a drink. But he still couldn't get it himself. Yeah. Which is because, uh, who served that guy? <laughs> I know, exactly. It's like, uh, but who's going to give you the... Yeah, really. <laughs> But and why if you came dressed in your best, didn't you have any liquor in your cabin to bring down? Really? Uh oh, another flaw in the movie. Okay. Who wrote this thing? All right. So. <laughs> okay. I I kind of like that guy more than anybody else because he had the right idea. Maybe he wasn't going about it perfectly. Right. But and he's he knew like he was going to go down. I want to I want to dress my best. I want to relax. I want to have a cocktail. And this is who I am. As I want to leave. I don't want to be scurrying around right. because I pretty much know out. I'm dead. I'm dead anyway. So this is how I want to go. And um, cheers to that. It makes sense, you know? I would have been having, like, uh, especially as someone who can't afford good liquor, I would have been in that liquor cabinet going, okay, where's the the Louis the Cognac? The Louis, no. No, Louis, but not, <clears throat> that's a handbag. I'm sorry. You don't drink a handbag. My wife likes that. What's that Louis, the expensive Cognac stuff that's, like, crazy? It's, like, $500, whatever. Sorry. So it's expensive. It's very pricey. So that's where I would be. Is I would be raiding the liquor cabinet, basically. This yeah, who's going to think straight? Just for you. Yeah. If you're ever in that position, yeah. think straight. So, that's exactly my point. Who's going to think straight? That's why I think Billy Zane and Jack should have hooked up. Because they're not thinking straight. <laughs> what? Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Wait a minute. What? <laughs> She's like... Wait, who's watching Who Go Now? <laughs> then, then Rose is like... I'm going to jump off this bitch because I love this man. And she jumps off of her life raft in back into uh, the Titanic. When she was, I mean, she was already, there you go. Oh, oh there's one way that's, that's open right. and there's one way and that's closed. closed. Okay, gotcha. So the part of the shaker that has the opening, oh, oh, that that's works where. So, that, li- the that, opening part works so much better. The opening part is where the liquid comes out <laughs> when it's closed. That's good for people who are trying to watch what they're drinking. Use the other part where the liquor does not come out. Watch me. Observe me. Liquor does not come out. Liquor does come out. Genius. <laughs> yes. It's amazing how smart we are. It's crazy how smart we are. We wouldn't have died on exactly. the Titanic. Like we would monkeys. not have died on the Titanic. We're like monkeys. So. Now they have to go to find Rose again. But now Zane's pissed. Zane's like, I've had enough of this nonsense. Now it's time to brandish a firearm. No, right. I'm going to take my security this, guard's yeah. gun and shoot. But it gets crazy at this point. This, but at this point, I'm you're a, like, wait, now... But what? I'm a lousy shot. Well, <laughs> he's in zero <laughs> minus degrees water. But he's a lousy shot. <laughs> right? He, yeah, he's a stormtrooper shooter. But he shooter. has a... He's a stormtrooper shooter. That is good. <laughs> yep, stormtrooper. It's freezing out. You're going to die of hypothermia. Or you're gonna drown, or both. Your ship is going down. It's the middle of the night, and you got a guy shooting at you too. Man, what's next? Like well, tax, yeah, getting arrested guess, for tax evasion? I didn't realize well, champagne we? was so heavy. It has gin in it too. The gin. It's not the champagne. See, I told you. The gin. It, it, uh, I love this. You know, the more you know, the less you know. Cheers. So. Let Rose go down with the boat. I am not Team Rose. One thing I want to mention is that once we're at this point, with basically we're at the the ship tipping over, Rose is just looking at people, and she's looking at this young woman, about probably about her age, maybe a little older, but looking at her, 
about to have to, you know, about to let go because she she can't hold on can't anymore. Hold. Oh, yeah, that's right. And she just looks at her and it's like, <laughs> she's her. looking at go, a little help. And yeah. she doesn't help her. She doesn't even help her. Yeah. <laughs> she, but she doesn't intervene in any way. And then the girl falls uh, to her death. Do you know why? Because she was attractive. And she didn't want... Right, but you get what I'm saying, right? On that, that was an Jack. odd. I never realized it. That was a very odd. Like what? Yeah, she's like sayonara. Uh, affluent people, people who are um, rich or have a lot of wealth. How well do they really know? <sighs> they? You've got like the. I'm gonna have to do practice one. to get that. It, it tastes like gin. Well, yeah, it's lovely. It but that's it's better than the broccoli. I haven't, I haven't able to be, been able to burp like that in years. I'm gonna yeah. And, and she spat like, in his face. She spit in his and face. Said, I'd rather be. You tell me. I'd rather be Jack in his face than your wife. But I, you know what? I think the Titanic would have been a great prequel to Overboard. To Overboard, yeah. Overboard picks up where the Titanic left off, and Rose is picked up out of the water. She's got amnesia, and she ends up with Kurt Russell. <laughs> but oh. she would still find a way to complain about it. <laughs> like it's Kurt Russell. Who cares? He was right. in the. He was in the thing. Him. This is Snake. And he's like, Rose, just never give up. Never let go, Rose. Just don't ever do it. And she's like, all right. And then, you know, <laughs> I won't give up. She falls asleep. Like, seriously? And now's the time for a nap? She wakes up and now, you know. Right, and actually. She um, got a DiCaprio you, now, popsicle. Now we're really hitting it. She's okay with him. And she f takes a nap. She's like, it's nap time, you know. Right, and he's so dead. tired from all dead. this. Uh, getting saved nonsense. How does a grown adult write a movie like this? I don't understand. How are you like a... How old was he when did this movie, James Cameron? Like, oh, like 40, well, God, 50? He was an adult, that's for sure. Yeah, and he's writing a movie like he this? He could have drank. Like, he could have drank. He could drank with this. What? Legally. Oh, God. That right, was a lot. Thank you. That's too much. For, <laughs> that's too much right now. Okay. He's going to edit this. So... Because, yeah, it does completely romanticize something that was really was horrible. horrible. All right, put it in perspective. <laughs> have I ever seen a romantic comedy based in Auschwitz? I have not. <laughs> That's a great point. Right? I mean, it's horrible. I mean, it's just a point. So, you can't have like a romantic like comedy because Titanic's kind of funny, right? right? And that's maybe that's that's really the core of why you hate this film so much. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful? Oh, kind, well, kind of. <laughs> yeah. It's a comedic. <laughs> no, this could be a great segue. <laughs> but it is a point. I mean, and it's it's true. And when you really think about it, it's true. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it, we... What poem is that from? Is that James Joyce? So. Cheers.